Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is how to fix your tech. Now today I'm back with another video. This is how to put bootable Windows 10 on a external hard drive or SSD. Now here I've got the Toro uh, one terabyte portable hard drive. Now it's running USB 3 through the um, hard drive connector, so it's reasonably good. Uh, you will might you might notice that I'm not using USB 3 through the computer. Uh, that's, I don't know why, it just keeps on connecting and disconnecting. But today we're going to be putting Windows on it. Now, um, the things to know, you don't want the drive to be in like a history of being corrupt. This actually was, but I'm not going to, I'm only doing it for the purpose of the video. I'm not doing it uh, just because I want to. Uh, but anyway, until then, let's roll the intro. everyone so all you need to do is simply connect it to the hard drive one of the simplest steps that for some reason I'm having trouble with um, if it doesn't like to work for USB 3 for some reason mine does just plug it into a USB 2 connector then simply all you need to do go into this PC go to your hard drive press it if you do that if you've got that checkbox right click and then click format now before this you want to know that um you haven't got anything important on it i haven't got anything important i have got stuff on it that i can delete it uh all you have to do ntfs is fine xfat is probably not what you want now yeah you can change your volume label and quick format and then go start it shouldn't be too long depending on how much Oh, and if you get this, we'll have a look. This drive is in use. Another program or process is using this drive. Um, yeah, we'll form that. It's all right. So if you get that, just click yes. As long as it's all right. All right. So we've formatted that. I reckon that might have been Steam that was using it. Now all you have to do is go into your web browser. I'll just use Chrome. Search up Win to USB. So uh, then, not the soft onic one. We'll have a look through them all till we find them. Now I might get mine off CNET um, as Norton says it's all right. So you can go on to CNET. Or I, I thought there was an actual website for it, but obviously not. I haven't got it in a while. So yeah. Then all you have, this is it by Halo Software free. All right, then all you have to do is click download now. Once that download's done, just click here. Click on yes, as long as this is all right, it might be unknown, it just happens. English or whatever. Okay. I accept the agreement. Next. Next. Well, whatever you want. Create a desktop shortcut would actually be handy. Next. Install. And it should extract and you can click finish. Right. So now what you need to do is go into the uh, program. Click yes. Alright. So you should have the latest update after um, just getting it. Now this is what it should look like. It's non-commercial. Anyway, so now we need an image file. Now we can go back, go back onto your website, or your, sorry, your browser, search up Windows 10 or whatever, ISO, you can do Linux, you can do older versions of Windows. And then what you should do is go download Windows 10 disk image. Now this is where if you don't want to do disk uh, Windows 10 you'll need to um, go into a different tutorial on how to get a disk image But uh, if you're doing Windows 10 click on the top one that should be from Microsoft.com
Alrighty. Now what we need to do is under Create Windows 10 Installation Media, all you need to do is click Download Tool Now. Now it's not a massive file, it's only 18.6 megabytes, so tiny. And then here you should just click on it. Should come up with Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft Corporation, Microsoft Windows. Yes. Now do note unless you buy a license, you will have unactivated Windows as um, it will be um, it will require a new license as it's never had one before. Now, uh, I should say under Windows 10 Setup, getting a few things ready. Alright, when you're at the applicable notices and license terms, uh, you can read through it if you want, I can't be bothered, click Accept. Now, speed and performance will definitely require, depend on if it's a SSD or hard drive, some worse than others, but you know. Alright, so what you want to do here is go create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file for another PC. Click next. Now uh, it depends if you want to use recommended options. Uh, so yep, that's good for me. Windows 10 and I want 64 bit. I don't want both because I know I need 64 bit. Uh, and uh, clicking both will um, make it work um, anyway, but it is a bigger file and I don't need it. Click next. Then what you need to do is go ISO file. Click next. You now you need to choose where to save it. I'm just going to save it in, um, to uh, not Toro, download, or desktop, desktop. And I'm going to rename it to Windows 10, oh, the ISO. Alright, now this is the slow bit. Um, I will definitely time lapse this bit. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you back when it's done. Come to see the horizon Just a thousand We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And once your ISO is installed and then click on the file the next image file go to where it's saved and then click on your ISO file now I know it's opening VLC because it's stupid but I look right then what you want to do is select your version now even none of them are actually activated so I'll just go pro why not next and then you click next all right no you have to click home click next Then what you need to do is select the destination of the, di the, the disk uh, and then all you have to do is click disk 2 and whatever it's called. Right, now this is um, interesting. <laughs> so what we can do, I'm just going to leave it on NPR for BIOS and then click yes.
Alrighty then. Now all you need to do, keep it in legacy. Then choose your virtual hard disk size. I'll keep it as what it is. And it doesn't need any additional drivers. So what you can do is click next. And now it's installing. So all you have to do is wait for it to properly install. Depends how fast your disk is. And you should be done after that. And we'll everyone so once it's completed all you have to do is click exit and then click yes and then all you have to do click power and click restart then whatever your BIOS um, hotkey is you can press it or you can go into the boot menu which I believe is F11 on this one which I'm gonna do because I'm not keeping it as that, but you can go in the bias too. Alright, then all you have to do... Oh, that's quick bias isn't working on well. Then all you have to do is go down to WDC or whatever it is. Um, go Windows Boot Manager, say to one. Alright guys, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this won't come in use for most people, but if people want to have like portability uh, and want to move their windows around, I guess you can do it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.